Um, we're gonna tie a muddler right now. Um, awesome pattern for swinging or stripping or however you'd like, just classic. Um, I, I'm using GSP um, in 30 denier because it's amazingly strong and it's small and it's really good for trimming deer hair and packing deer hair. Um, we're gonna start with the turkey feather. I've already kind of put two sets together and this is gonna be the tail. And then I'm gonna wrap this down and create a little bit thicker of a body. And I'm gonna go over that again later. I really like uh, this GSP because it's super strong. You rarely, rarely ever, it rarely ever breaks. And it's pretty much the only way that you can spin uh, deer hair, or at least lots of deer hair, without breaking your thread. The next part is we're gonna put in some um, Uni Mylar tinsel. I'm gonna use gold. This body is gonna be kind of a classic, uh, really skinny, um, gold body. Actually, I'm going to put in, before that, I'm going to put in some, just some small French tinsel, just gold tinsel that can be any kind. Um, that's going to be the rib. I'm going to tie that in first. So here's, this is going to be the rib. And I start on one side and then Kind of let the thread wraps take it to the other side. And then I come back up. Tie in my mylar tinsel. All right. And for my mylar, I'm gonna wrap down and then back up. So I'm just starting, and this is a two side, the gold and the silver. And of course, I'm using the gold side. So this is gonna be gold on gold. Coming back up, nice smooth, touching wraps. This looks pretty good. Capture it with the thread. Done. Next up, our gold tinsel, we're just gonna make this even. Wraps, just to make it look nice. All right, looks good. Okay, um, the next part of this fly is gonna be the underwing. Underwing is just some um, gray squirrel. So I'm just gonna, I don't need it to be really long, so I'm gonna take fibers from the bottom. The bottom of your tails are always shorter and the top of your tails, the ends or the tips of your tails are where your longer hairs are. Okay. Get all the under fur out. Just need the guard hairs. I'm gonna make it so it's just short of the tail. All right, got that locked in. Cut the excess off. Okay. 
get this one little guy. Kind of wrap that down. All right. Uh, the next thing is we're going to tie in our uh, turkey, our wing, which is paired. As you can see, I took a piece from here and a piece from here. And what I'm going to do is line the tips together. So like this. Yep. And then I'm going to fold it over. Hopefully it just stays. Yikes. All right. Looks good. That's going to be the wing, which is going to be, again, just short of the tail, right about the exact same spot as the tail. A little bit longer than the um, squirrel. Go down, loose wrap, second wrap, pull up tight, one more. Does it set? Boom! That looks good. All right. Yeah. I love when it <laughs> when it comes out like that. It looks awesome. Sweet. Cut that off short. All right. Uh, as you notice, that we've left the front bare. We're gonna. Um, on the bare uh, metal part of the hook, the bare shank, we're going to spin some deer hair. This is just, you know, regular old deer hair, natural color. It's not dyed. Um, and I am not even going to stack it. I'm going to cut a large clump for the collar. And I do, the, I flick it a lot, which gets a lot of the under hair out. I don't know why that works, but if you f flick it really hard, you can pull out all of that under fur and those shorter pieces of fur that you don't want in there. So, boom. The goal is here to, in two, in two um, sections or two clumps of deer hair, to get it one and then the second one two boom uh, stay good all right as you can see I kind of wrap through I, move, I wrap forward and tie more and more down I'm not going to use a packer I'm just going to use my fingers I'm going to pull it back this GSP is super strong and you can cut through the hair so be careful you don't pull too tightly then I'm going to put one more clump in front, and then it's going to be time to trim. All right, another clump about a little bit larger, maybe the same size as a pen. And of course, the more you flick it and pull hairs out, the thinner it gets. So now it looks about like that. I'm going to tie in this clump right there. Again, in the same way, you do one wrap around, soft, second, and pull. Whoa, just cut all of it. That's what GSP can do. Slice right through. Let's try that again. All right. Clump of hair. Get it ready to go. Pull out any of the wonky hairs, under fur, gone. Line it up. One loose. There you go. All right. It didn't spin, but that's okay. Because if you check 360, it looks pretty good. Um, and then for finishing deer hair, I don't whip finish at all. I just cheat and I get my zap gap and I put some zap gap on my thread. Maybe about an inch and a half, two inches. I pull all the hair back and I just wrap. And that glue will lock the thread in place. 
Also, because this is just 30 denier, you, you can give it a lot of reps. You still cannot see that thread at all. Um, you can wait for it to dry, but you can also just cut it off right away. Okay, the last step is we are going to trim the deer hair. We're going to be using uh, the Wilkinson swords. Some people use scissors. Um, I don't. First cut is on the bottom. Um, I bend the Wilkinson sword just a little bit. I don't want it to be totally flat. Your razor blade should be sharp enough so that as soon as it touches a hair, the hair just falls off. And if it's not happening, then get a new razor blade. All right, now for the top, same thing. My first trim is always up, up. Go slow when you're trimming deer hair because you can't go back and undo it. Um, you'll learn. One person, uh, one video I watched, I thought this was really smart. It's that once you think you get close with your with your razor blade, you just stop and put it away. Then you can finish with scissors. Um, I think that's pretty good advice. All right. Shoot. I like that. Oh, uh, let me actually thin this side down. You want it to be pretty symmetrical. And then on the top. Oh, that looks good. All right. There it is. Uh, Muddler Minnow. Tie one on. Swing it across. You can riffle hitch it if you'd like. You can skate it. You can put it on an intermediate tip. You can kind of do anything. All right, tight lines.